The Scholastic Ball Report is sponsored by UK Sports Medicine and by Central Bank, Crown Trophy, Double Dogs, Ford Brothers Auction, Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign, La Rosa's Pizza, Mingy Beef Jerky, Panel Swim Shop, Prep Spin, P Rats, Rafferty's, Raising Canes, Roberts Insurance, Sutherland Chevrolet, and by Whitaker Bank. Hello, welcome into the Scholastic Ball Report. Gary Ball with the Brian Hyatt with me. He's the coach at Anderson County. Coach, you're off to 11 and 2 start there at Anderson County. That's a terrific start for your yes, team. Yes, sir. Uh, we returned eight kids that at some point had started varsity basketball coming into this season. Uh, just a fantastic, great group of young young men. We're looking forward to talking to you as a team of the week. And our features from Mercer County High School, Coach. There's a player over there named Kalen Drakeford. Yeah, he's, he's re- pretty good. He's a really nice player. He can really score the ball. Our scholar athletes, they're from Henry Clay Wrestling. We're talking about Nathan and Taylor. They're outstanding. Andy Critchfield is a coach over there. He always brings us great kids in because they're doing great things in the classroom. That's where it counts. Yes, sir. That's our number one priority, too. And my five gentlemen here tonight is very much the same way. Academics all the way, yes, isn't sir. it? That's yes, good. And the Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week is we head down to Nicholasville, Kentucky, to Sutherland Chevrolet. And Emily Whitnell's here from UK Sports Medicine. She's going to coach. She's going to keep us in the game. That's good. That's good. That's, from UK that's, Sports Sports medicine and uh, and also in the uh, rap Dylan uh, Stevens and Alex Carpenter are going to help us wrap it up on the uh, show today but coach we know why people watch the show they, they like the they like the interns they like like all these great academic kids but they want to see some highlights That's right yeah. and that we have the best highlights in the state of Kentucky these highlights brought to you by prepspin.com that's William Warfield the king of stream in the 11th region while the Cardinals are not the dominating team Right now, Lexington Catholic, Douglas, Tates Creek seem capable of contending for the crown. It's been 29 years since the Commodores have won a region title. Tonight, facing Lafayette and big guy Ray Surratt being honored for becoming the newest member of the 1,000-point club. And here he adds two of his 20 points. He also had nine rebounds and five blocks. That is a large human being, ladies and gentlemen. Creek Zion Townsend with the drive to kick to Maxwell Morton for three. Morton had 14, doors by six. Then Amari Taylor, if y'all are not going to guard me, I'll just chuck it from the cheap seats. Busts it. Taylor from deep, Creek up nine. Now a loose ball situation, and Josh Dudwight, the doctor, is in. 22 points. Tate Creek takes it 61-52 to improve to 11-5 on the season. 43rd district matchup between LCA and Dunbar. Under five minutes left to play, it's Nick Spalding from way downtown. Bang. Three of his team high 13 points. Dogs up 41 36, but with 20 seconds left. Look at Jeffrey Selby. Only played five minutes. Only three points of the game with the free throw here to tie the game. Actually, to go up one. Man. LCA up 44 43. Then this from Dunbar to win the game. Oh. LCA storms back to get a nice road win 44 43. Welcome back into the Scholastic Ball Report. Our team of the week is from Anderson County. We want to thank Roberts Insurance. Bob Roberts Insurance, they insure three quarters of this great state of Kentucky. They're on Main Street out in Richmond, Kentucky. From Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, Anderson County. Coach, we got to get it all right there with the Bearcats, don't we? Yes, sir. And I tell you, how have the Bearcats gotten off to this uh, fast start? Uh, We're really experienced. Uh, Like I said earlier, we have have eight kids that have started varsity at some point for us. and we got even got Zach back this year. After last year, he he, went, he didn't get to play because of an injury that he that happened in football. But mm-hmm. we, which just added more experience, and just a great group of young men that's willing to do anything I ask them to do. Yeah, that's that's great. Coach, we have several players with us today. Three on this segment and two on the rock. Mm-hmm. What does each player bring to the court? Uh, Zach Zach is just a full Zach's an energy guy. Zach defends, rebounds, dives on the floor, guards the other team's best player. He just he's always just full of energy. Uh-huh. Uh, Tyler is a returning guard. He uh, takes real good care of the ball, ball handles, real good shooter of the ball. Um, he was injured, but he's now getting back to where he was before he got injured. 
Hunter is uh, our best scorer around the goal. He's always on the move. They're slicing through the defense, and they're finding him, and uh, he's putting in the goal. He's turned himself into a good defender as well. Uh, Alex is um, a phenomenal shooter. Alex is one of the better shooters that's, that's probably ever played at Anderson County. If he's open, I think it's going in every time. Mm -hmm. He does too, right? Yeah, yeah he yeah. does too. And then Dylan is a really, he's a really savvy player, plays a lot on his instincts. He can get in traffic really well. And uh, Zach, I'm going to start with you. Welcome to the show. Right. You're a three sports star and an academic guy there. You got a, a 4.3 uh, GPA. Congratulations for that. Thanks, thanks. You scored a 31 on the ACT, so congratulations for that. That's not easy well, to do. You. What gives you the most pleasure performing at all these sports and such a high academic level? Well, I think it really started with my family. I've been so blessed to have such a nice family, and they've just supported me with really whatever I do, and they've just instilled the the lessons and morals of me to always give everything that I do my best shot. So when I really come out to sports or classes or whatever it is, I, I put my all into it and I'm so blessed to be able to be here where I am today. Well, you pretty much play sports year round. I mean, you football, basketball, and then spring sport is that baseball yes. track. Baseball. 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 So, I mean, uh, and then keep up the grades like you do. That's remarkable. Tyler, you bring a lot of experience to the team. How did your wrist injury set you back? And moving forward, how are you better from it? Yes, ma'am. It set me back a little bit. I missed about a month and a half, a little bit of a month. And moving forward, I think it just made me work harder when I got back and helped me be a more of a leader for the team. And Hunter, you're the leading scorer on the basketball team. Coach already really applauded you for that and <laughs> yes, your sir. ability to score around the basket. Uh, what is your best uh, attribute as a basketball player, in your opinion? Uh, I'd say taking it to the basket, uh, just getting the hoop, finding mm -hmm. myself uh, buckets as well as my teammates. Defense comes to help, kick it out, knock down three. Mm -hmm. Coach, talk to us about your district and region game. Our district is absolutely brutal. It's, as, uh, it's probably as good as any district in the state of Kentucky. Uh, this year we... This year we added Woodford County into it, which makes it even more, which makes it even more difficult. Now we got Woodford, which is a real nice team. Uh, Spencer County, which is one of the better teams they've ever had. And then Collins is top five in the state of Kentucky. Oh, that is a tough district. And then <laughs> Shelby County's improved. So it's a five team district now. And that's just your district. That's, that's not just in the region. Well, we're gonna have to play, no matter how you cut it, in the first round of the district tournament, we're gonna have to play, we're gonna have to play a semi of the region type type game to get to, to get to the regional tournament. Well, for coming and doing our show, Coach Mingy Beef Jerky, I'd like you to uh, t have that bag of Mingy Beef Jerky. I like appreciate it. I do. That's good beef, beef jerky. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, thank you for joining us on the show. And good luck. Sure. I know you're having a tremendous thank season, you. but good thank luck you. the rest of the season. Thank you very, very much. much. Thanks for having us. That's thank the you. Bearcats of Anderson County. And now we're going to this feature. It's on Mercer County's uh, Kalen Drakeford. What a player he is. Coach Trayvon Faulkner and Trayvon won Mr. Basketball two years ago. Coach Carter Boffman, Carter won uh, 12th Region Player of the Year. You know, to step in and possibly be able to go three for three with the Region Player of the Year is just very, very rare. And I think Kalen's, you know, right at the top of the list for Region Player of the Year. As we know, Mercer County is a basketball hotbed. And with a talent like Kalen Drakeford, the Titans have as good a chance as anybody to make a deep postseason run. When you look and you see the 46 points they opened up the season with or the game winner, you know, Friday night, it's easy to see why, you know, he succeeded. He puts in the work. He's our hardest worker in practice. Those countless hours in the gym paying dividends Friday against East Jessamine. With the clock winding down, Kalen calls game. <laughs> It's more special with your own teammates, you know, I grew up with every one of these guys and uh, to hit that shot in a district game, you know, it's a really big moment. Big indeed, considering the play was designed for somebody else. It was actually supposed to go to Bryce East, but then they ended up playing it right, so they stood out to the top and coach lets us make plays in big moments. And like Kalen said, we just kind of let kids make plays. Uh, Kalen's a special player with the ball in his hands and gave Kalen all the full responsibility. He made a great individual play and got us a big win. That win was Mercer's eighth of the season and thanks to those late game heroics, Kalen is now averaging 21 and 10. Mr. Drakeford, a walking double-double. In Harrodsburg, Alex Walker, WKYT.
Welcome back to the uh, Scholastic Ball Report, our Scholar Athletes of the Week. This is the most popular segment because we highlight boys and girls doing great things in a classroom like these young men. And Coach Critchfield, you always bring in such great young men. Nathan and Taylor, tell us their role on the, on the team this year. Both these guys are my senior captains. They, they've been with it since freshman and sophomore year. Uh, Nathan here is a uh, returning state qualifier. He was a match away from placing last year, and we hope to get him on the, the podium oh, yeah. and be a medalist this year. Taylor was a, a match away from going to the state tournament, and he's, he's wrestling real tough. He's 12 and 1. Yeah. And uh, I think at the right weight class, he's got a great chance of getting to the state tournament, and who knows? Mm -hmm. Coach, how do these student athletes keep their grades up so high while maintaining such a vigorous practice schedule? Well, I think the sport of wrestling demands a lot, not only physically but academically. And uh, I've been very blessed. These young men have put the time in on the mat, and they also put the time, you know, where it matters the most, and that's in the classroom, is hitting the books. Yeah. I've never had to worry about these two guys, and it takes a little stress off of me. It really does. But they, they play a wonderful role, and they're great leaders. Nathan, how do you continue to excel in class um, while maintaining such a vigorous practice schedule? Well, it's really a lot of time management skills. I just got to get on my homework as soon as I get home from practice and get my work done. That's about it. Well, you're getting your work done. I tell you what, <laughs> you got a 35 on the ACT. That's, that's near perfect. So that's awesome. great score on the ACT. Taylor, you perform well on the mats and you have a 3.8 GPA. Are academics stressed at home and at school for you? Um, for sure, yeah. Um, I find my grades very important to me. Um, like what Nathan says, you know, I always, you know, just make sure the grades are good and do my homework, everything. Um, my grandparents are always pushing me, so I just, you know, want to have the best grades as I can. So, yeah. Nathan, tell us about the major you plan to go into in college and what college you plan on going to. Well, right now I'm looking at either University of Alabama at Huntsville or Rose Holman in Indiana. And both of those colleges have really good math and engineering programs. So I'm thinking I'll start with a math major, just build up that base, and then if I decide I want to go into one of the engineering programs, work from there. Von Brahm, I believe, went to uh, Huntsville. He's uh, one of the best rocket scientists. So if you're going to look at that school, that's there a pretty good go. school. And Taylor, what's in your future after you graduate from Henry Clay? Um, I'm planning on uh, wanting to go somewhere that has a great nursing program, um, wanting to be maybe like a nurse practitioner or something like that. Um, I haven't really decided what colleges I want to go to, but um, we'll see in the future. So, yeah. Well, Coach, let's give a plaque to each one of these young men. There's a plaque, uh, Ryan Tyson, a Crown Trophy. I'd like that to present to, to those guys. If you take that over there to Crown Trophy, the, you know where they are, Coach, sure right do. behind Starbucks on Nicholsville Road. They'll personalize, put your, your name in school in there for no charge. Congratulations for just the great work on the mat and the great work in the classroom there at Henry Clay. They're just outstanding student athletes. All right. Thank you for having us on. We appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Now, those are the uh, scholar athletes. They hail from Henry Clay, one of the top schools academically in the state of Kentucky. Now we're going to the Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week as we head down to Nicholasville, Kentucky. Time now for your Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week. LCA and Dunbar with under 15 seconds to go. Jeffrey Selby and one this free throw to put the Eagles up by one and he's got it and guess what LCA wins by that final 44 43 let's watch it again great find from Tanner Walton Jeffrey Selby the clutch play and to hit the free throw in that situation is only three points of the game big win and that is your Sutherland Chevrolet drive of the week And welcome back into the Scholastic Ball Report, our UK Sports Medicine segment. Emily Whitnell's here. Emily, it's always great to have you on the show. Thanks yeah, for coming in. It's great to be here. What in the world is dry needling? <laughs> so it's a newer thing in physical therapy. Dry needling is a treatment that's performed by physical therapists 
where they take a monofilament needle, which is similar to the size of an acupuncture needle, so it's not some of those big needles that you get with shots, and they puncture your skin, and they go into the muscle, and the goal is to treat muscle tender points that are causing people pain, and the goal is pain relief so that the people or the patient can get back to doing the things that they want to do. Davis and I are certainly glad that you didn't do an actual demonstration with that dry needle. But anyway, I understand it now. Uh, yeah. What type of conditions is the dry needling helpful for? Well, dry needling can actually be done on almost any body part. So research has shown that they're really, it's really good for headaches, muscle strains, low back pain, and even TMJ dis dysfunction. But it can really be done on almost any body part who's having pain related to the muscular system. Uh, where would you put it in for a headache? So you actually have like tiny <laughs> muscles question. in the back of your head <laughs> question. that can like that attach the base of your skull into your cervical spine okay. that sometimes can cause headaches if they get really tight yeah. and tonic. Yeah. So you just as long as that doesn't go in the frontal lobe, I'm no. good. I'm good with the back. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, uh, so it is safe, actually. Yeah, it's very right. safe. I know that. Hundred percent. Not 100 percent, but 99.9. Oh, oh, it's safe. Nothing's 100 percent. Okay, 99.9. Nine, that's good enough for me. Yes. Um, physical therapists have a lot of training in anatomy, yeah. and I know it's scary to think somebody's poking a needle in you, but it's really safe and has a really low risk of any adverse side effects. Well, I have to say, of all the uh, UK sports medicine therapists we've had on the show and and all that, that this was the most interesting topic of all good. those. So thank you very much, Emily. Thank you. And that's our UK sports medicine. There's their phone number and their website. Give them a call. They will keep you in the game. Now we're going to this final highlight package and this final highlight package is brought to you by PrepSpin.com, the leading digital network in the state of Kentucky. Welcome back to game time. We head to the capital city. It is Frankfurt hosting Franklin County. Yeah, the Panthers have won three of the last four in this crosstown showdown to Wilkinson Arena first quarter. Jordan Blythe. This is one of my favorite places to watch a game. Just say it's old school. It's antiquated, but the ball still goes in the hole the same way. Jackson Twombly, the triple first points of the game. That was a big word. Yeah, I'm sorry. Antiquated. <laughs> Will O'Brien, coach's son. Coach's son's doing better too. They're up five, but Franklin County struggled to make baskets on the break. Zach Cox drives, but the county, the Flyers, come back to win it 54 47. Now we head to Versailles. Woodford County hosting Estill County. Hello, John Bentley. You were the first guy I put on TV 22 years ago. Mm, You're interesting. Old. Joe Benton, this dude is real. Tell me, this doesn't look like something out of the backyard. A little Larry Bird imitation, maybe. Estill County chips away to an eight point lead. The Jackets, Dan Manley, sharpen their stingers with Dylan Blevins. He's camped out in the corner. The engineers turn back to Benton. I mean, he's got a little shake, a little bake, a little make, and the guy's Bang. taking it. Kid is legit. Woodford, in case you didn't know, Woodford isn't manufactured. It's handcrafted. And so is Jared Courtney. Jackets take it 50 to 46. Beautiful Mr. Walker. read, Brian. It's about Sterling. It's <laughs> Montgomery County hosting Louisville Eastern. We start in the second quarter. Hagen Harrison, great name, better finish, gets it to fall off glass. Then it's the big fella. Who says the big guy can't shoot? Look at Not the little mid-range J. It was tied 24 at halftime. Eastern would go on to win this game by one. Christian Spalding may have been a push off, but that's a smooth jumper. Eagles get it done. It's our first trip tonight to Frankfurt Christian Academy. The Royals hosting Owen County. Owen County up big and emptying the bench. Brax Ward gets the bucket to fall. Then off the turnover, the long outlet pass. That's why you practice it. Two you more for practice. the Rebels. You don't practice. I don't practice at all. 95-23 <laughs> in blowout fashion. And welcome back into the wrap. Gary Ball, Davis Brown, and our uh, two outstanding seniors from Anderson County, uh, Dylan and Alex. And Dylan, let's start with you. Uh, uh, tell us about the uh, season so far and how your season's been. Uh, we've been off to a good start lately, and a lot of people didn't expect that out of us. Uh, but we've been playing since we were all kids, got good chemistry on the court, and, you know, we really shocked a lot of people, and we want to keep doing that. Alex, has there been a noticeable turning point in the season so far? I think we were, it's all about defense, so as we have the number one defense in the state, wow. we just, yeah, it starts on defense, and the offense just goes on from there, and 
off to a good start so far. Well, you know what they say, defense wins championships, <laughs> right. and but offense sells those tickets. But you guys are doing a great job on both ends of the court, believe me, with your offense and your defense. And we really appreciate you joining us on the show and doing the wrap. Yeah. And and, uh, and uh, your coach was on earlier with us and some of your other players. It's a great cohesive team, isn't it? It is. It really is. As always on the Scholastic Ball Report, for those you see and you don't see. Keep your, keep your eyes, eyes on the Scholastic, Scholastic Ball, Ball Report. Report. The Scholastic Ball Report was sponsored by UK Sports Medicine and by Central Bank, Crown Trophy, Double Dogs, Ford Brothers Auction, Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign, La Rosa's Pizza, Mingy Beef Jerky, Panel Swim Shop, Prep Spin, P-Rats, Rafferty's, Raising Canes, Roberts Insurance, Sutherland Chevrolet, and by Whitaker Bank.